It's been nine years since the enactment of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act. The act was passed to support local content, thereby promoting indigenous ownership, creation of job opportunities, and reduction in the export of skilled manpower for sustained economic development. Implementing the act, however, has not been easy. Change is not an easy thing. Uh, people want to resist it, people want to sabotage it. But what's important is consistency and keeping focus on what you're driving as change. These panelists, one after the other, spoke on its importance and the need to sustain local content. We need to sustain local content. And what I've seen, we're seeing clearly some first mover disadvantages wherein absolute belief in the concept of local content. Going by our 10 year old map, we're looking at 70% uh, in the next few years. Um, Strictly speaking, going at the rate at which we're going, we should be doing about 63% in another eight years. Another important part of this subject matter is the Nigerian Content Development Fund. Indigenous oil and gas companies are expected to remit 1% of profit earned from every contract executed. This affords the industry and companies opportunity of growth and accessibility to loans from the fund. The local content boss, however, expressed disappointment at the inability of most companies to contribute. We are currently undertaking a forensic audit. And if we find them culpable, we'll take necessary action as stipulated by law. The intervention fund is made available by the board and managed by the Bank of Industry to meet the funding needs of indigenous manufacturers, service providers, and other key players in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. From Abuja, Chinamarem, Joseph, STV News.